Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on dual dual double user and self dual. Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on double dual graph and self dual graphs in discrete mathematics. In the previous video, we are already discussed about how to draw the dual graph for a given planar graph G. Okay. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about the double dual graph and the self dual graph. Okay. First one is double dual graph. Okay. So, for a given graph G, first we have to draw the dual graph. Okay. After that, for this dual graph, again we have to find out the dual graph. So, this is called as double dual graph. Okay. For a given graph G, first we have to construct the dual planar graph that is G star. Okay, now for this dual planar graph, again we have to find out the dual. Okay, then it becomes G star star that is a double dual graph. Now this double dual graph G star star is the double dual graph of given planar graph G. Okay, so this is the definition of double dual graph. Given a planar graph G, if we construct its geometrical dual that is G star star of G star. So, G star star is the dual of G star. G star is the dual of G. Then, G star star is called the double dual of given planar graph G. Okay, so this is called as double dual graph. Simply we can say that for a given planar graph G, we have to construct the double dual. First we have to construct the dual of G, that is G star. After that again we have to find out the dual for G star, that becomes G star star. So G star star is the dual of G star. G star is the dual of G. Simply we can say that G star star is the double dual of given graph G. Okay. Next one. Self dual graph. A planar graph G is said to be self dual if G is isomorphic to geometrical dual of G star. Okay. So this is the given graph G. For that graph, we have to construct the dual of planar graph that is G star. By observing these two graphs, there is a isomorphism between G and G star. So once there is a isomorphism property is satisfied by G and G star, hence we can say that that graph is called as a self-dual graph. Okay. Now, Isomorphism between G and G star. What are the factors we have to consider? So G is isomorphic to G star. First one is number of vertices. Number of vertices in G is equal to number of vertices in G star. First point. Second point, number of edges. Number of edges in G is equal to the number of edges in G star. Next one. Third one, smallest possible cycle length. So, in a given graph G, we have to find out the smallest possible cycle length. So, that same cycle length is also there in G star. In G star, we have to find out the smallest possible cycle length. Okay. The smallest possible cycle length in G is equal to the smallest possible cycle length in G star. Next, fourth point, degree sequence. Okay, in G, 
we have to find out the one to one corresponding edge vertices okay so what is the what is the vertex in g what is the corresponding vertex in g star okay so that is called as one to one correspondence edges one to one correspondence between the vertices okay for a vertex in g what is the equivalent vertex in g star for a vertex in g star what is the equivalent vertex in g so that is nothing but one to one correspondence between the vertices okay after finding the one to one correspondence between the vertices in g and g star now we have to find out the degree sequence the degree sequence in g is equal to the degree sequence of g star degree sequence in g means what are the vertices in g for each and every vertex we have to find out the degree okay the corresponding vertices in g the equivalent vertices in g star also we have to find out the degree degree of all vertices so this degree of vertices in g is equal to the degree of vertices corresponding degree of vertices in g star okay so these five properties are satisfied hence we can say that g is isomorphic to g star then for that given graph g g star is called as the self dual of given graph g okay so this is the description about the double dual graph and the self dual graph so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivas rao Thank you.